Hey guys, what's going on? It's Greggles TV. Welcome to episode one of Android for Beginners. Uh, today's episode, we're going to talk about launchers. Now, I'm going to do this once a week, every Wednesday. And I'm doing this because I love helping people, especially with things that I know a little bit about. And um, if you guys have any questions on anything that I do or things that you want to see in the future for this uh, series, let me know in the comments down below. A launcher is a app that allows your phone's interface to look different and behave different. So this right here is a Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and it's running the TouchWiz launcher. Now there are tons and tons of launchers in the Google Play Store. Some cost money. Mostly though, they're free. Um, it just depends on what one you get. Right now, the TouchWiz launcher looks like this, you know, and you have your app drawer down here on the bottom right, and everything's in A to Z order. A lot of people don't like this launcher that know a lot about Android because you can, you can only customize it a little bit, and they just don't like the way it behaves. So that's why people like to change to their launcher. Now, Apple phones can't do this. This is a really cool thing about Android phones that we have over them. So, first thing you want to do is go into the Google Play Store. And on the home screen up here, you just want to type launchers. So, I'll type launcher. And you have a bunch of launchers right here. So, I have two up here, so I'll hit more. And it's going to show me a whole bunch of more launchers. Now, my two favorite launchers are the Google Now Launcher and the Nova Launcher. Both of them are free, but if you want to pay a little bit of money, I think it's $4.99, the Nova Launcher allows you to customize everything basically about your phone. Some of these other launchers um, are free, like I said, but they have little ads in them and they change things that just make it more annoying and, and more ads and crap. So, you know, I don't. I don't like those, so I like these two these launchers completely ad free, and they just work really really well, and they're really clean looking as well. Now, once you're ready to install one of these launchers, all you got to do you can either click on it and go right into it. I like to do it real quick right here. I hit this little three dots right here and hit install. It's kind of a quick way. Hit accept, and it installs the launcher. Now, there's two ways to get this launcher to start taking effect on your phone. If you just installed it on this device. You can hit the home button and it'll ask you watch. I'm going to hit the home button and it's asking me now to choose a launcher. So I'm going to choose Google Now Launcher and I'm going to hit OK. So now you can see my device looks just a little bit different. If I slide over to the left, it gives me uh, things that I've searched for, um, things that I look at. So it kind of gives me, a, it, it tracks what I'm looking at and stuff. I like that though. Some people might be scared of it, but it, you don't have to turn this on. You can turn this off. And it's cool because it'll bring up things that I've looked at or things I think or things it thinks I might be interested in. Uh, otherwise, slide back to the right. And then you have, again, this is your home screen. And when you hit your app drawer this time, remember the Samsung one was left to right. This one is up and down, and it's already alphabetical for you. The Samsung one, you have to constantly, anytime you download a new app, you have to sort it. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. And then at the top as well, you have a little search box. So if you're looking for a uh, app, if so, if you're looking for a specific app, like say news, it'll bring up all your apps that say anything about news. So it's pretty cool to find it that quickly and easily. Hit your home button, and to customize it a little bit, you just hold your finger on the home screen, and then hit settings at the bottom right. This launcher isn't very customizable. It's kind of what you see is what you get more or less, um, but it's just clean and there's no ads in it and it's fast so that's why I like it. Now I already have the Nova launcher installed so you're probably thinking how am I going to get that enabled since I already have it installed. So what you do is go into your settings at the very top of your slide, swipe down and hit settings and then you can either search for it at the top by hitting home there's a search button I can type home and it'll come up I can tap right there and it brings me into the home or if you don't have a search on your um, device at the top in your settings, what you can do is swipe down, go to settings, go over to where it says 
go over to where it says applications and so it's going to be different on every phone unfortunately with Android because they all are a little bit different so applications and then go over to then go over to default applications and choose home and you can see I'm going to tap Nova Launcher right here it says press the home key to take effect I hit the home key and now it looks even more different and my animations are a little bit different when I split left to right Nova Launcher is cool because it is so customizable. If you want to get into the settings of the Nova Launcher, just press your finger against the screen on the home, one of the desktop on one of the home screens. Go into settings at the bottom there, and you can change everything about this. You can change, you can change the dock. The dock is the bottom part of the phone where it shows those apps that constantly show. You can change their size, uh, the layout. You can go into desktop and change the height and width, the scrolling effect. There's so many things you can change on here, especially if you pay the five bucks and do this. This is definitely the best launcher. It's the number one launcher for anybody that uses Android. So, And you can back up your settings so you don't lose them or import them. So there's tons of stuff you can do with this. Um, Guys, if you have any questions about anything that has to do with launchers or if you'd like to see something else in the future for this series, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys down the road. Peace!